Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and today we are going to be playing some Strixhaven Standard. The new set is upon us. Um, lots of cool cards uh, in it. Um, so what we have here is a Golgari or Witherbloom, as the college would want you to believe, um, kind of controly mid-range shell. Um, so a couple cards I wanted to try out here from the new set uh, are there's a, an ability called Magecraft. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, you get an effect. So Witherbloom Apprentice uh, lets you drain your opponent for one life and you gain a life. Uh, there's Sedgemore Witch, which lets you create a pest. Um, that is a 1-1 one, one creature that when it dies, you gain a life. Uh, so it's kind of like a young Pyromancer style effect. And then there's Professor Onyx, a.k.a. Liliana in Disguise. Uh, very powerful Planeswalker at 6 mana. Uh, Magecraft, whenever you cast Sensor or Sorcery, opponent loses 2 life, you gain 2 life. Uh, it's plus 1, lets you uh, look at the top 3 cards of your library, put 1 in your hand, rest in the graveyard, also lose a life. Opponent sacrifices the greatest power creature for minus 3. And then its ultimate is opponent may discard a card. If they don't, they lose three life. You repeat it three, uh, six more times, so upwards of 21 damage. Um, so we have that. I want to try Beldross Witherbloom as a top end finisher. It's a seven mana 4-4 four, four that on each player's upkeep, uh, you get to create a pest token. And for 10 life, you can untap all the lands you control. Uh, each turn, you can activate this once. Uh, the rest of the shell is kind of like a Golgari control deck. So we have a lot of removal in Blood Chief's Thirst, Erebos' Intervention, Eliminate with that sweet, sweet art, Heartless Act. Um, we have Chevelle to gain us cards and gain us life. Inscription here I like because it can get back these smaller creatures for us. Uh, can force Discard um, and is removal itself. Uh, one Extinction Event main. A Hager's Mauling is just a utility land. Binding, one of the best cards in this color pairing, uh, we have Pelucranos and then um, Agaric to kind of have Agaric. I want to try it out. I don't know the exact numbers of this deck, but we're going to figure it out. Play around. Some Gargaros for life gain, Cling, and Pelucranos for like rogue style strategies, Tomes to draw cards. Um, nothing too special with the mana base. Um, I've largely been unimpressed with these lines. We played an Izzet deck and I cut them after the first game. Um, they're very bad late game draws. They're basically tap lands with no upside. Um, so we're playing two. I don't know if I even want the two, to be honest, but we'll see how they goes. Sideboard, they did a terrible thing in terms of how the sideboard's laid out, but we have another cling to dust. We have some duress for the control matchups, extinction events, and shadows verdict. So one more extinction event, uh, three more shadows verdict. There's one hiding at the bottom here. Um, Skyclays versus like controlling mirrors and rogues, uh, Necromentia for Sultai Ultimatum, and then Barrier Breach. Um, any deck that's playing a lot of artifacts and enchantments is three mana, and you get to take care of three of them, which is pretty nice. It also cycles, which isn't too bad. Um, so it's pretty much the deck. We're gonna give it a shot. Um, today I've just been kind of playing in the play queue. Uh, I usually like testing my decks in play queue first to see how the numbers are before we jump into the rank ladder. Um, it gives me an idea. Usually we use early access for this, but unfortunately they canceled it. But we'll get it to go and see how it plays out. Um, do let me know in the YouTube comments if you have been playing any sweet decks, if you've run into it, ideas, stuff like that. Drop me a list, stuff like that. We'll try to feature as many of these decks as possible. Uh, I do have some codes for free packs of Strixhaven. I'll drop those in the video description. They are unfortunately single time use. So first come, first serve. I'm sorry if I had a thousand codes, I'd give away a thousand codes, but I don't have that many. Um, I think we keep this hand. And as always, uh, if you can, like, comment, and subscribe. It goes a long way to helping out the content. Let's jump into it, see how it goes. Okay, so a few times this line's actually going to be relevant. So my hesitation with this card is it dies to Bone Crusher Giant. But it could kind of bridge you a bit, so they're on some sort of jun deck jokes on you opponent my hands pretty bad so we're gonna take our only creature here we can Hagra's mauling it so this can be like Judd midrange it could be a bigger version of Jund It'd be interesting to see how this plays out Jun might be the better direction for this deck. You get Tybalt, you get um, 
Clothis, you get Bone Crusher Giant. So this might be something we kind of explore. We have Seraph. That's actually a card we should consider in this deck. Okay, so we don't want lions here. Gargs is a nice one. So again, we don't really want to put this land into the graveyard while this is out because it makes their Sarulf bigger. We're probably just going to draw a card this turn, use either Mauling or Extinction Event. Probably go Mauling here on the Sarulf because this is uh, even, this is odd. They don't have binding at least, otherwise we would have seen it. Actually, Eska's Chariot's a nice one to consider. Okay, so we are gonna name even here then. This gets rid of activate your chariot. Activate your Chariot. This gets rid of the tokens as well, which is nice. And then we just go Green Source here. I could Wither Bloom. Draw a card, drain them for one. And then draw off the Tome, which is pretty nice. So maybe we do that line. Because I kind of want to bait this. I'm assuming they have removal in hand. Uh, you don't play like Seraph unless you're using quite a bit of removal in the deck. So I'd like to get some utility at least out of Gargaroth. Okay. Well, new plan. Kill this because they're taking our Gargaroth. So they can crew chariot. I think we're gonna scry here. Interesting they didn't activate this. It, it, it does work out to more damage. We're like almost there. But I th think we need to deal with this board. So they can spend the mana to do this and then we just, okay, that's fine. We'll just kill this, but it, like if they wanna spend five mana to animate this, it's fine. I can also cling to dust to gain some life, but we're gaining four off this. I think we take this damage because if they have another Valky, then we feel pretty bad. I can just gain the life back. I'm not too concerned there. Valky here. Question is, do I want to set up a draw here? I think we do. So I don't really want to send out Gargaroth. It's just going to die. I 
I can just cycle this on end step. Doesn't look like they have a spell, which is interesting. I wonder what their hand is. So far, underwhelmed with this card. So this is definitely something we're going to look to revise. I think you want to be more like an aggressive slant deck for this card. Take the damage here. Okay, so they have Gargaroth of their own. I've also drawn a lot of lands. Okay, that's a card. Definitely a card. So what do we have? So I think what we do is we do it on their turn. Let them go to combat, because here, in any case, I do this at combat, they just animate the chariot, so it doesn't really do anything for us. This will also give me some life uh, insulation. A running questing beast as well. Their deck's like a more aggressive Golgari. No sense blocking here. We don't get much out of it. Um, I think at this point we need to send out Gargs. They're a bit out of gas. Don't really want to do this with this out because it gets to four power. If they just go questing beast here, I think we trade. Okay, they're a henge deck. How about those for your last two cards? Seems pretty good. Okay, at this point we need to insulate our life total a bit. Binding's pretty sweet. So we binding on Seraph. And then cling to dust. Can we cling to dust? Yes. I think we need to do this. We're dead to like another chunky creature with the chariot. But at this point we need to play to our outs. We need to dodge like a turn here. The other side is going like Liliana. Or like I'm not casting this because then we lose the Gargaroth. So I can draw a card or I can go to one. To be honest, I th think we just draw a card. Like we're dead to removal spell pretty much anyways, because we go up to eight here. Eliminate doesn't quite work here as we want it to. Blood Chiefs there does. Let's get a dual land here.
tad scotch awkward that we haven't been able to draw one more land just to cast this Gargaroth. We would have been in a nice spot here because any creature pretty much turns on Chariot now. Okay, well, they missed. Because now we get this out. And now we can start trying to gain some life. Probably gonna do this, take them off red. We'll wait to see what they cast. They don't have enough to crew the chariot yet. That's a big boy. They can fight here. So they need to crew and then fight. Which is enough to get me here. That was the card they needed to draw. This eliminate not being a heartless act hurts us here. I just want to see how many basics they have. That was like the card to beat us. And even that turn, gaining the extra life didn't make much difference. Okay, so they have the basics. Okay, you got me this one. They got me that one. Um, probably the extinction event. Uh, they do have... Do we want barrier? Probably not the barrier breach. Witherbloom Apprentice can probably be cut. I think maybe Agonizing Remorse isn't too bad. Maybe it's a Shadow's Verdict. Actually, instead of Remorse, probably just bring in a Verdict. They have bigger stuff, so do we, but we just need to survive to that point. So they're doing a very kind of similar idea to us. They're playing a little bit more mid-rangey. We're a little bit more on the control side. Um, Witherbloom Apprentice has been awful. Chevelle into Eliminate's nice. Um, I think we're going to bin this one. We already have the first one, and I want... Um, Either like Heartless Act or another land. Do they have their removal? Okay, so they have their Heartless Act. So the nice thing here is we get to play out our binding on their th threat. They can binding ours, but I think it's largely okay. Yeah. Your Valky doesn't hit anything. Put this on block. And then we can eliminate one of their cards and draw a card. Gargs is a great draw here. So they can go binding this turn. They probably take my tome out. But I'd rather show this as a threat. I want to keep this around. Questing beast. That is a nice one. So I'm actually going to put a stop on my upkeep here because I want to draw land. We want to curve out five. Uh, 
not alliance. We're running 26 lines in the deck. 27. So missing a line drop there hurts a bit. Use this, get a duel. Playing the Field of Ruin for like Faceless Havens. It's a card that can be a bit problematic. So here, I think, I think it's reasonable to do this because Erebos' intervention can hit some of the bigger stuff. And then they have the ability next turn to start pumping mana so then it gets awkward with the Erebos' intervention. Plus the more mana we get, the more life we gain. It is worse there. Ooh. Okay, well, I'm gonna blow up the chariot because I don't want to deal with that. I, th I do like chariot as an idea in the deck. Maybe go more tomes. So like drop these wither bloom apprentice go up a tome and maybe two chariots basically gaining this life back You're gonna keep giving me bindings. We're gonna keep taking them. Um, but I think here one, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're just gonna use the intervention here because if they go Tybalt, then I do want to have an answer to Tybalt. It's bad on my part. I let them turn Henge on. That was bad. We saw it in game one, so we should have played around it. Um... Ah oh, no, my Shadow's Verdict got rid of my dude. So I can do this for seven. I think what we do is let's make them discard two. And then we blow up the Henge. So I'm doing this first so they don't know what we're going to play out. Captain Masker Worm. And at this point, uh, with this, I'm just gonna fetch a forest. Uh, I'd rather keep these lands to cycle. Uh, one, two, 
two, three, four, five, six. So I can do both. So I'm doing this. Actually, can I not right now? Yeah, no, I still can. No, nope. can't eliminate. That's fine. I want to take them off red mana. So that way they can't Tybalt. Just Heartless Act. Yeah. Okay. Weird, they didn't fetch. You'd think you'd want to thin out your deck at this point. So here, let's just get a land. So I can Extinction Event here, but I think I'd rather keep that if they have like Gargaroth or something, or even Questing Beast afterwards. First look at Professor Onyx here. So I'm doing this just to gain some life off uh, Liliana. Hey, it's a big boy. It's a big boy. So I'm probably gonna kill this cat. We can have, even if they respond by trying to kill it. This still can play around Heartless Act. Even if this dies at this point, we can get it back. Not the end of the world. We've only seen, I think, one Tybalt out of them so far. This two Tybalts. That's fine. We escape it back. It's a nice part of the, the card. Now even if they have like Questing Beast or something, we have a big fatty. Opponent thinks I won't do it again. Still a lot of good draws. We have the big dragon itself. We have Garrick, another Professor Onyx, two more Elder Gargaroths. That's a problem. Fortunately, Heartless Act doesn't do it. We can't kill it in response. Um, I think we do this. We thin out our deck some more. We still have two forests, two swamps. 
I can probably just do this now. This is why we took them off the red, so they couldn't hard cast Tybalt. That helps, for sure that helps. So we're not exactly dead to Questing Beast. I can Extinction Event this away. We do need to gain some life. Don't care about that. Okay, now we need Shadows Verdict. Fine. We have removal. Heartless act this. Have extinction event up. See if they go, okay, so they don't go that. Perfect. We're living dangerously. So what they can do is they can have their Pelucranos fight their Chevelle, but it, the damage gets prevented so Death Touch doesn't work. What we need is like Cling to Dust to start gaining some life. doesn't work the way the opponent wanted it to. All right, can I get like Beldros? Can I get Garrick? Professor Onyx would be nice, a Gargaroth. Like we got a ton of good cards here. Turn Timber Symbiosis. That's good because it takes their whole turn. Don't have anything in my graveyard. Those are both in exile. Doesn't do much. Normally castle would be great here, but our life total is so low, we can't really do much with it. See, that's kind of silly by the opponent. They're playing into Extinction Event here. Thank you. Uh, odd? Odd. What they should have done is play Odd Even, because then I can't kill them with that. Do I have any way left to get rid of Garrick? Not really. That's not great. Um, let's gain some life. So this way I can draw a card at least. That was a good top deck by them. Okay, Sedgemore Witch isn't bad. Uh, so here... Kill this. We get a food. 
So this has wards, so they have to pay three life. They can cast Pelucranos and fight something. They do have options, but we kind of have to play to our board. We couldn't really afford to play Chevelle, wait a turn, get a counter, put it on. They're going to get too much value. I think given that... So there's our answer to Garrick, at least. Looks like you weren't fit to survive. So we'll gain the life here. We're just hanging around, seeing how long we can keep alive for. The curse is affecting me more than I thought. So I think we do this for Witch here. So... Target player discards, return to target creature. We get Chevelle back. Kill this. So they do have the Pelucranos that can fight here. Still the Heartless Act doesn't do too much here. Not great. I think we are probably just drawing a card here. Go to two. Snarl doesn't really do much here. And we drew land. All right. That top, they went Tybalt into Garrick, which was pretty solid. So I think what we need to do is definitely cut those Sedgeborn Witches. They were not very good. Um, so I think, like, let's cut these. They were pretty bad overall. Um, maybe Ooze. And so we have the Heartless Axe. Probably want either another Tome or Intervention was actually pretty solid there. It was pretty flexible at various points of the game. So let's maybe try two Interventions. I'm going to cut down one of the... Actually, I'm going to... Let's go up Temple, and let's go Crawling. All right. Nope, where did my deck go? How many lines? 25. Let's go full Temples here. We'll run one more with this deck. Let's do maybe a best of one. See how it plays there. Run a couple matches here. Liliana was pretty sweet. Um, bindings going around everywhere hurts a bit, but I think the utility it provides is nice. Tapland Central on our part, deciding as to whether. So I think in this matchup, we do want to get to these Gargaroths. The 
so we'll play that tapped. This lets me go cling eliminate next turn. So I'm going to see if they want to put something else on the Luminarch. Because then this lets me go minus three next turn. the difference here our life total is high enough right now that we don't need to worry Sedgemore Witch is actually nice because I can still get them next turn and this lets me no but I think we want to just clear the board and drop Gargaroth Yeah, hold your horses. Here's my big dumb creature. What you got? I think given that we don't have they want to kill this they can i'd rather keep the second gargaroth the way their hands shaped up they didn't have a turn on a play on turn four take six damage there to kill it close to getting cling to dust to go active I think we're okay taking a, a hit from the speaker this turn. That needs to die. One, two, three, four. So the thing you want to usually do if they have two mana up is play chicken. vessel that's fine we just go Garrick here just gonna get a forest here Watch out. Stay on the trail. opponent's not really threatening our life total at all so I'm cool to just use this to draw cards Vito is definitely something that needs to die. I think we use a scry here actually now that we see Vito. back something like Malakir's Rebirth let's kill Vito here The nice thing here is if they target it, I have cling to dust. Um, I'm gonna 
keep this intervention for later. Uh, so we're probably going to kill this. All right, opponent, let me know when you're done having fun. Yeah, this configuration feels a lot better. Let's run one more on the play, see how it goes. Waiting on opponent here. Largely think this hand's fine. If we can go Sedgemore Witch into like Heartless Axe, it's nice. This is gonna prompt every time now with one mana. Okay, they're on some sort of stompy list. I'm actually not going to go Tome here because it's high likelihood they have Gem Razor. And I get like no value out of it and then I can't kill it. Okay, well, we'll try this out. Could have killed this, but I don't think it's worth that much. They have Blizzard Brawl. They do. Hits me for six years. We're gonna go binding. Because next turn they could potentially go Vorinclex. So I can't really deal Vorinclex. Do this. A combat heartless act questing beast. I think we want to try to hit a line tier. Post combat. Sure. Who? I think we need a land. Should have scryed again. us back up to 11. Intervention's been really nice here. Sure. Whatever warms your heart. I think that's largely okay. Because here I do this.
Can I get a 1-1 one -one out of this? I don't care if they go Vorinclex here, I get a free Scry. We can take the 6 and then I can kill it. Can also draw a card. Finding's fine. Bye, friends. Opponent stumbled a bit, but our removal came out. So I think this configuration's a lot better, and this is where I would likely continue playing with the deck. Um, definitely kind of the way to go about it. Uh, we didn't get to run into Salt Eye Ultimatum. Uh, which is a deck that would be interesting to play against, just because they do have the counter spells. Um, of the new cards, we never got to play with uh, Belladross. Professor Onyx, I can see being very good as like an attrition-based card. The Sedgemore Witch just ended up dealing more damage, but if the, we have a way to protect her, this might be a better card in like a Demir style deck, maybe, or more aggressive in like Rakdos, something to try out, but ooze in this configuration i think is where we want to be um, so that's the deck let me know what you think as always drop a comment and uh hope to see you for the next one thanks for watching